Just quickly, just come in. Okay, we've got, so we've got a group of lads at different stages. Some of you have played on uh, Tuesday, some of you uh, some of you didn't play and come on a sub. Um, some of you come back from injury. So we're gonna, quick hour. So you lads are gonna train, scholars, and then you're gonna go and do the testing, okay? So we get it as close to half 11, quarter 12 as we can. Uh, into Alan, quick 10 minutes with Alan, technical. Uh, into me, transition possession, some small side of games are done. You're just gonna do the technical call and then go in. Okay, everyone else do the full session. Okay, nice uh, high tempo. Ready? Let's go. Off you go. Over to Al. Have a jog over. You don't need the shin pads for this bit. Yeah, well, after the warm up, which was delivered by our uh, academy sports science team, uh, you'll have seen the technical part of the session delivered by our coach Alan Morgan. Uh, we were looking at obviously uh, tight control, short passing, slightly longer passing. Um, that's, we use it as an extended warm up to. So the, the players can practice the technical attributes of the game. Um, it also activates the mind, so they're ready for the main part of the session. Um, and uh, we, the first team do that. We do that as well in in the uh, in the youth team with the scholars, um, just to make sure that they, they have the ability to to be able to keep the ball in tight areas. Next one, Quinny. Yeah. Next one. Make it a good one. Oh. Watch that cone, Heath. <laughs> Jenno! <laughs> uh, Jenno, you're like a cat in a tin roof. <laughs> Ethan, make sure you're bouncing, Heath. Make sure you're ready. Good. Good. Get your timing right. Well done. Good, good touch, Louis Sheed. Good touch, Louis. Good tempo, Quinny. Yeah, nice and sharp. So you're bouncing, so you're ready. So every time the ball comes, if it's loose, you're ready for it. Yeah. Well so we're on the on the same side as the first team. Obviously, the first team staff and ourselves. Um, the players get to train, obviously, on the same side, so they get to be able to see the first team training. So it means the continuity between both first team camp and the youth team camp is uh, is really good. The, the reserves, the youth team lads used to play in the reserves, and the senior pros would play. So we get that here with the sessions. So we get the the senior pros who are coming back from injury get to train with the youth team and obviously we get the uh, the youth team lads who can step up and go and train with the first team so um, it's fantastic for, for creating that pathway um, not all clubs have that so, so we're really lucky Go on Quinny Good, come on, come on Not on, good Not bad at all uh, Luke you're in the green mate, yeah Two touch for you working in here just to uh, play with the team in possession, 4v4 on the floater. End zone possession, so we're trying to work it through into the end zones. Just barely put a yellow on. Ali Farley down that end, Ethan down that end, Quinny down that end, and Jake Burton when he comes down that end as well. Okay, so you've got two end zones, Ethan up that end. You've got end zone and an end zone, right? 30 yard grid in the middle, 4v4. Jake's on yours when he comes over. 4v4 and a floater. Right, I want you to work it. I give you it all in, right? But I want you to try and work it quick. I'll only give you it all in in case you have to protect it. Luke's on two touch, right? Six passes get you the goal. So keep it for six passes, get you the goal. Or slide your mate into the end zone. So if I'm playing with the yellows and I'm playing with Lou, and Louie can make the run, and I can slide them into the end zone, right? Controls it in the end zone, he gets himself a goal. Leave the ball, get yourself back in. Blue, go and retrieve it, restart it. Okay, if it goes out, I'll save you the ball in from the side. Got it? Yeah, you've got to be quick, you've got to be bright. Okay, we're looking at how you retain possession of the football, but also how you give your mate an option ahead of the ball. Okay, so your movement's got to be bright, you've got to be clever with your movement. Ready? Yeah, we're playing. Off we go. Off we go. Remember, one, two, three. It needs a runner. Uh, that was the tactical part of the, the session we did, um, so you, you'll have seen um, a practice with end zones where we were looking at transitions, so this all falls in line with um, the, uh, the curriculum that we have in place for the scholars. Um, they all have learning objectives co connected to, to the curriculum. Um, we're looking at the transitions, both positive transitions and negative transitions, and the player's ability to be able to react on turnover of possession. Uh, get some pressure on the ball, track runners that you'll have seen in the session as well um, and obviously put into play the, the technical aspect they'd learnt in the first part and their ability to retain possession and, and play forward passes. It's something we have at this football club is 
it's ex-players um, who want to come and work for the club. Um, we have uh, volunteers as well, uh, some Tramway fans as well, which I think is important, uh, especially reaching out to the, to the local community. Um, and it's important that you know the uh, the coaches that we have at the football club um, transfer that to the players because. Um, especially with, with Steve Jennings and Alan Morgan, they both came through the, the youth system here. Uh, I came to it at Liverpool and then came here when I was when I was 18. Um, but they've both been through that process. So they've got first-hand experience of the process that the players are going through and how it is and what they need to be aware of to be able to make that next step um, into the professional ranks and into the first team. And um, We have a, a real good coaching network here at the football club. Um, all the way from the first team, obviously with, with the manager and assistant manager, goalkeeping coach, all played for the football club, uh, and the staff we have in the youth team as well of, of ex players who who know what it takes um, to make it here at this football club because we have a we have a special DNA at this football club. Um, you've got to be very humble to be able to play for this football club. Um, you've got to understand the club and the environment. You've got to be able to understand the local community. Um, understanding that, that the punters and the supporters here are working class people from uh, the local community um, and that is the area that obviously I'm from and, and that we're based in um, so you've got to be able to understand that and um, give everything for the fans um, I think if you do that the fans appreciate that they might you might not always perform to the best but I think if you always give your best then the fans appreciate that one two three four Five, six, four, three, one, two, three, four, five, four all. Goal, five, four to the Blues. One, two, three, four. Five, time, 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 time. You've got a minute. Right, listen. Listen, name, on your buddy. Name of the game is what? Right, retain possession. So we're going to retain possession, what do you need? You need options and movements. And you need to be able to move the ball quick. Right, if you're the opposition and they're keeping it, what have you got to go and do? Press and win it back. But when you go and press, you've got to go and press with intensity. If he's got it then, I've got to go and press him and get his head down. Right, there's not enough intensity in it. If somebody's making a run, right, what might you want to do? You've got to track the runner. So if I'm in here defending and they've got the ball, I've got to be looking round. Do you do that in the game? Yeah, you do. If Bailey makes a run there, I've got to track him. Yeah, I've got him, got him. Right now, I might have to go on it. Yeah, that's what you've got to do. If you've got the ball, move. Run! You should watching it, Jake. In a game, if somebody does that in a game, where are you going in the game? No, I'm on yours. Where are you going in the game? You're going, aren't you, so I can slide you in. We'll run then. Yeah, run. Switch on. Switch your brains on. We're ready. Second game. 5-4 to the Blues. It is. All in, but shift it quick, remember. I'll give you the ball. 5-4, we're playing. So the classrooms are there to obviously help learning. So we're, we're in the analysis room now, which we use to analyse the games. We also do um, unit analysis work with the players, individual analysis work with the players. Um, fantastic, we get to analyse the opposition before games as well. Um, the players, the scholars also do the, the college on site. Um, so the, uh, the tutors come in and, and deliver their, their BTEC and their MBQ. So it's really beneficial. Go on then, once that's done, let's uh, let's get in quick. Get your testing. You've got coaching this afternoon, first years. Maybe. Good news for you, yeah. If he's in, you're going to do the gym. Always. You're going to do the gym with the lads. Yeah. And then when they come out, you're going to come out with the, with the lads. Great news, please, aren't you, Jake? I can tell. One o'clock, oh. yeah. So you tell your lads, get yourself, once you've finished the testing, get yourself in, lunch, and get yourself in the classroom as close to one o'clock as you can, OK? okay? Yeah. I think this may be one of the last contacts you do. Well, you're not a fan of coaching, Lou. It's just like... Well, it's hard. You're going to say it's hard here, aren't you? It, it, it's Life's it's hard, you know, son, eh? Hey? Yeah, you have. Yeah. Like, you've got to think about 
you've got to think see that's the problem you've got to think <laughs> we're, we're trying to develop people as well as players um, it's not just the football obviously the the fallout from professional football obviously scholars and um, first year pros so under 19s is, is huge we're aware of that um, so we need to give the players something to fall back on so obviously they've got their education that they do with us we also put in place uh, a life skills program um, to give the players the opportunity to learn not just football but, but life skills as well